everyone, this is Joanne from World's Cup of Joe, Awaken Your Soul. Today's question is, is it okay to reach out to my twin flame during the separation phase, phase that we are in? Um, first and foremost, there is no separation, so just know that, but I do understand the question on just, you know, during the no contact time frame where you are really focusing on yourself and just aligning with your soul's energy. During this time, is it okay to reach out to your person? So there is a yes and a no answer. The yes is you can communicate and there will be a point to reach out to your person and continue to have communication. Um, but this is only once you are in a place where you are simply soul soul's energy vibrating from you there is no need <laughs> no required for an urgent answer from your person because you are aligned with who you are and just think about this as soul and again they are your soul soul wants nothing it simply is and being soul's energy there is no sudden desire to have communication with your other self when you are coming from soul now you can reach out to them if you are in a place where you are balanced absolutely and there's no urgency there's no required response back from them where you're seeking validation and need certain outcomes to come along uh, the communication is simply just just as you would with anyone <laughs> um, the reason why you should not communicate during time frame if there no contact is really it's focused on you the more you have the need and desire to grab attention from your other self look at that time when you have the sudden desire to want to reach out to them and see how urgent that requirement from you is and how the mind has processed that it's urgent and and like really important right now you are not your mind you are your soul they are you are both the same soul soul just is and requires nothing back requires no need to validate itself it just is so if the communication is coming from soul and there is no urgency of fear or mind um, expectations then yes it is simply being um, but if you're coming from, you think what you're going to say to them will have and create certain outcome because of your communication. If I say this one thing to my person, it will bring them back to me. No, <laughs> heck no, do not engage, do not communicate. The no contact, the detached part, that time is for you this is for you this time when you are in no contact is a time for you to really identify who you are you are not your mind they are not their mind so even you reaching out to them is just your mind trying to get a hit of the person that it wants to get validation, confirmation, attention, their favorite person, which is you. <laughs> there is no need to validate. There is no need to seek. There is no need to expect. You are already one now. As you are aligning further and further within soul energy, you won't need to reach out they will reach out you can reach out when you have a knowing and it's coming from soul and again there are no expectations and you're simply being yes all day 
all day, every day. I'll have clients that I speak with and they have pure source, pure soul energy, and they have a sudden desire to do. And they've been being for so much. Absolutely, I will um, guide them through that. But being is first. You're doing and having whether you're reaching out to them, communicating with them, having interaction with them, you first have to recognize who you are. Identify your soul's energy. Vibrate that energy over and over. You do not have to do any type of communication. This is simply you working on yourself, focusing on your own energy, and it in return brings in and matches the energy of your soul so it gravitates and brings your twin flame to you from you simply being who you already are. I know this is some deep stuff when the simple question of, hey, can I reach out to them is all you're trying to get um, an answer from. The answer is yes when you are coming from soul. The answer is no when you're coming from your mind. The way to identify the difference between mind and soul is first detaching from this energy of mind, spending time with yourself, recognizing when you have a sudden urge from mind or a knowing from soul, okay? Presence now consciousness those are all souls energy the mind's energy is fear-based it wants something now it's looking for an outcome projection certain steps to follow tell the mind to calm down there will be more communication. You will never run out of communication when you're in soul. When you're in soul, you are so present <laughs> and the communication you're receiving is instantaneous and it's all about your ability to balance your communication back. So just don't worry about that right now if you do not feel like you're in a place of soul. You know when you are calm about the conversation that you want to send. If you are thinking back and forth, should I send this? Should I not send this? Should I send this? Should I not send this? That is a sign to stop and say no. I am not sending this because when you are coming from mind, it's a yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. If you have to think about it over and over and over and over and over, that's duality. So just relax. Remind yourself that you are not separated. Remind yourself to focus on you, your soul's energy, which is their energy, which is your twin flame. So just relax. And don't have a sudden urge right now to communicate. Um, wait for a good opportunity to do so when you are balanced. And you'll know when it is time. After you have been being for so long, spending so much time in soul's energy, you kind of just have a knowing. Like, you'll get certain downloads of knowing what type of questions to ask when the time comes, when you are ready. But there is a big difference and you'll know. If you have any questions on this, let me know. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the messages. Thank you for all of the support. Loving all of the questions that my clients have been um, having and all of the breakthroughs and beautiful, beautiful balancing and unions um, that I've been identifying from our clients. It's just so beautiful and I'm so proud. Um, also super proud of any new clients that have been getting to the point of balance to where they are able to communicate and don't have to. 
right? Like they are not in any stress about the communication because it's instantaneous, it's continuous, and it doesn't have to come from them. They're so happy being where they are now. They are so happy being in soul's presence. Soul's presence, that's where you need to focus on. Communicate within yourself. Ask yourself why you really need to hear from your twin flame right now. Ask yourself that. Like, what is it within me that is like requiring this right now? And just know the difference between whether it's coming from your mind, from needy energy, or it's coming from your soul, which is pure unconditional love energy. I love you. From World's Cup of Joe, awaken your soul. Mwah. Bye.